Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're showing you guys some ways that you could fix higher than normal CPU or RAM usage. This tutorial will be specific to Windows 11 computers, but if you're on Windows 10 or a different version of Windows, a lot of these steps will be pretty much the same. Before we get started with this video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so step one is to restart your computer. This can actually fix the problem in the majority of cases. Now that we got that out of the way, let's jump onto the computer for some troubleshooting. All right, let's start in the task manager. We can hit the start menu and just type in task and we can see the task manager there. Let's hit enter to open this up. Here, we're gonna look for applications that are using a large amount of our resources. If there are apps in here that you are not actively using or don't need, ending the task will stop the overconsumption of our hardware. Now, in this case, I'm not consuming very much memory or processor performance. I am consuming a somewhat significant amount of memory, but these are both coming from my web browsers. So once I close these, I should be good to go. Now, one important note is you will see a bunch of things like this desktop window manager and other things that basically Windows has running in the background. I would not be too concerned about these as these are processes that basically need to happen for your computer to run. You'll be able to tell that they're not consuming very much hardware performance. Again, look for things that are significant. And if you don't need the task, go ahead and end it. All right, and for the next tip, we're gonna go into the task manager again. This time, let's go to startup apps. We can see our startup apps and we can also see the status of whether they're enabled or disabled. I've already gone through and disabled the majority of my startup apps, except for the ones that I want. So you can go ahead and do the same. One thing to note is that by disabling certain services, you may not have access to automatic updates or things like that. So make sure that you don't actually need it before disabling it. Next up, let's go back to settings and in system, let's go to power. So we can adjust our power mode here, which is going to give us less or more computer resources. And if you're on a laptop specifically, this might be conserving battery life. So basically we'd be looking for a high performance power plan if that's what we're trying to get. Now I don't have an option for power mode because I'm already using the high performance power plan. If you wanna see whether or not you have that on, go to your control panel, or you can simply search power plan like I did here. Inside of hardware and sound and power options, we can see that I have my high performance power plan selected. All right, next up, let's do Windows key and S together and we're gonna search for Windows security. Let's go ahead and open that up. Here we're gonna scan for malware or any kind of virus that could be affecting our system. Let's click virus and threat protection and run a quick scan. Okay, and then as we can see, we have no current threats. If there are threats here, deal with them accordingly and that can or should help with your system performance. All right guys, let's go back to our settings one more time here and we're gonna go down to Windows update, making sure that you're always up to date on your software can help to make sure that we're optimizing our performance. All right, and then as a last resort, if nothing you're doing is working and you just know that your hardware should be faster than it's performing, you can actually go ahead and reset this PC. Our last recommended step would be to reset your PC. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most subscriber video requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.